Hi, welcome back to the Praxis Test Prep channel. My name is Tasha, I'm a former high school biology teacher, and today I'm gonna to walk you through some problems for the Praxis 5857. That is the health and physical education exam, and this focuses on health education as a discipline. Okay, let's get started. Okay, question one, which teaching method emphasizes a more self-directed learning model that fosters learner autonomy? So we're looking for something that's really student-centered here. So teacher-centered is not going to be our answer. Student-centered is going to be our answer. And direct instruction is going to be more teacher-led, so that will not be student-centered. And assessment is just assessing the students. So our answer is going to be B, student-centered. Okay, what is an example of self-efficacy? So what self-efficacy is, is it basically it's the belief in yourself that you can accomplish a task and actually accomplish that. So A, giving up on losing weight is obviously not self-efficacy. Watching others lose weight around you, also not that. Working hard to lose weight, that is going to be our belief in ourselves that we can actually lose that weight. And thinking about losing weight is not because you're not actually doing it. So answer is C. Okay, what is standard one of the national physical education standards? We are looking at standard one. The physically literate individual demonstrates the knowledge and skills to achieve and maintain a health enhancing level of physical activity and fitness. They're probably gonna ask about all those standards, so I'll just label these as what they are. So this one is actually going to be standard three. B, the physically literate individual demonstrates competency in a variety of motor skills and movement patterns. This is going to be our standard one. C, the physically literate individual applies knowledge of concepts, principles, strategies, and tactics related to movement and performance. This is going to be standard two. D, the physically literate individual exhibits responsible personal and social behavior that respects self and others. This is standard four. So if they're asking about any of those, you know which of those standards they're asking about. So our answer is standard one is B, the physically literate individual demonstrate competency in a variety of motor skills and movement patterns. Okay, last question. Which of the following is a defining feature of spiral curriculum? So what spiral curriculum is, is it's basically when you're going to be reiterating key concepts throughout the lessons. So again, you have those key concepts. They're going to be presented in multiple different ways, potentially, and you're going to reiterate them in different um, levels and depths. So A, students with learning disabilities require accommodations to participate in basketball lessons. Disability, this doesn't have to do with this. Workbooks teaching about basketball are designed to be interactive and refer to multiple multimedia sources online. Interactive is not really part of that. C, students can learn basketball one phase at a time. So that's kind of in one sitting. Um, D, students can see how dribbling a basketball correctly relates to traveling violations. So this is key in that depth. So when we're looking at spiral curriculum, that's providing different depth about traveling. So the answer would be D. I hope this is helpful. If you're looking for more ways to study, head over to study.com to check out our other videos. As a study.com member, you get access to hundreds of practice problems like the ones I just walked you through, as well as targeted instruction for some topics you might still be struggling with, along with some test-taking strategies to help you maximize your score on test day. Finally, we want to hear from you. Please like and subscribe if today's video was helpful. In the comments down below, please let us know if there's topics you'd like us to cover next. Good luck and happy studying!